from uh, from the minutes recorder. Respectfully, this would be from Barbara. This would be regarding the budget committee's budget. Um, I request that the committee consider increasing my salary to $175 a meeting as requested last year. Anybody want to make a motion on that? David makes a motion to increase. Okay. Anybody want to second that so we can have I'll discussion? Second that. Ginny seconded it. Um, just for discussion purposes, I know, Sonny, that when these other budgets have come up and they're five and six percent, and you've had a, a speech for every one of those department heads that um, a five or six percent, and uh, there are so many people that are living on fixed incomes and everything else, this is a ten percent well, increase. All I, all I can add is I know how long it takes to write the minutes up. Yeah, make sense out of it. Okay. This is a 10% increase. I just want to say that for the bottom line. Okay. So, anybody wish to um, speak about question. this? Go ahead. Sonny, how many hours are put into one? You're asking the wrong person, David. No, ask the, ask the recorder hours. secretary if you want to know that question because you're not managing her. Answer, let Barbara, you Whatever. can answer that question yourself. It can take anywhere from 10 to 20 hours, depending, it's huge. depending. For instance, the last set of minutes, yeah. it, it is complicated, complex, it went around and around, and it has to be accurate. Point of so order, Mr. Chairman. Yes. So it is. If we're, if we're going to be discussing. 20, 20 hours point of order, Mr. Chairman. Absolutely. Hold on, David. The point of order takes precedence. If we're going to be discussing individual performance, then by law we should be doing it in a non public session. I agree. And this is. This is not. Um, this is. This has to do with personnel, and it. It should be discussed with, uh, for instance, in the HR office with the HR uh, human resources. Person. No, no. Uh, it needs to be discussed in a non-public session. Of if 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 the budget committee is or is not going to make an increase to an individual, and discuss that individual's performance. Right. That discussion of the individual performance must be non-public. Unless the person requests that it be in public. Correct. The person may request But well, we have not received that request. It can be an oral request or it can be a request. But we have not heard nor seen such a request. Okay. Do I hear an oral request from Barbara that this can be discussed? That's that your request? performance be discussed publicly? I have no problem. There you go. Okay, so thank you, Tim. So that's that a granting of right? That was a very good point of order. David, did you have anything else you wanted to ask about? No, what I was trying to do to understand that, to get over the 10%, she's at times, she's putting into like 20, 20 hours plus. That's a lot of work for 20 hours if you're doing the other thing. Paying like $7, 6 bucks, $5 an hour. And your work is outstanding. So that's all. It seemed reasonable. And I wouldn't go down the 10% rule against Sony. I think that's a low shot. Personal opinion. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry to say that I do not find the work outstanding. Mm -hmm. the minutes have been resubmitted with Did amendments. The same meeting well, multiple well. times. Uh, that's very unusual, extremely unusual. You that's not outstanding. Minutes, are you talking to me? Can I, can I respond? No, I'm speaking general. Look as, as you're I looking wish. at me like you talk. I'll look as I wish to look. And uh, furthermore, as as you know, Mr. Chairman, we instructed the recording secretary to generate bare bones minutes, which meant who's attending, what motions are made, who voted on those motions, and that's it. That's all that's required legally, and that's what this committee, you, the chairman directed at the beginning. Bare bones minutes. There's no reason that bare bones minutes should take 10 to 20 hours. All right? 10 to 20 minutes is more accurate. <laughs> the bottom line is we're getting voluminous minutes. They're quite the opposite of the direction that the chairman gave. And I do not consider doing the opposite of the direction the chairman made to be considered outstanding performance. And so, no, I do not support a 10% raise. I do not support a 0.1% raise. I do not support a raise of any kind. Okay, thank you, Tim. 
Um, go ahead, Sonny. You had your hand up first. I was going to raise with the Lansing Municipal Association. When somebody abstains from a vote on the record, <coughs> Tim usually abstains. Then he, another meeting, he may, wants to amend it. If he hasn't voted, how can he amend it? That's my understanding is you. Can we get back to the motion, Mr. Chairman? Vote in order to amend something. Okay, and that's. I'm not going to answer that. So no, okay, I that's. That you're just that making a comment. Me. Okay, thank you. Jenny, what the did you... The other thing I would suggest is let Tim mark the minutes. Okay, Jenny, go ahead. Do you know... How, it's very hard to get people to take minutes. There's ads in the paper all the time from clerks to take minutes because it's a thankless job because half the people like it and half the people hate it. <laughs> and that's the way it is. So I think we have a clerk that does her job. She does the minutes on time. I think we should obviously consider the 10% raise. Well, you know what, Jenny? I don't see that that... Okay, that's your opinion. Thank right. you. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, in order? Okay. Well, hands keep going up around here. Regina, go ahead. What is the current... You 175 is what's being requested. What is she doing? 150. Okay. That's all I have. Thank you. And, and I want to add that um, just for the record, Okay, Joan Rice, who happens to be convalescing right now, so a shout out to her. I hope she's feeling better soon. Um, used to, did the did the she was the minutes recorder. We have to keep this title correct. You just mentioned clerk. Somebody else said recording secretary. It's the minutes recorder. That's the title. Okay, and um, she did it for considerably less money than that. For many. When I say considerably, I mean considerably. Like 90 bucks, I think. 95. Now, yeah. when when Barbara offered to do this service last year, at the time she asked $175. I was sitting, I think, where you are now, or David, and I said, I think $150 is more than enough. Um, and that was a jump from what we had been paying, okay? Um, I... <coughs> That's, um, that's all I'm going to say, and then my vote will will reflect how the rest of it, how I feel. Go ahead, Chuck. Um, Joan Rice does our meeting. She does a phenomenal job. Mm -hmm. She's going to continue to do our meetings. But our meetings are substantially less in time. Our meetings are anywhere from one to two hours. And these meetings go on and on and on and on, that's, that's which good, they don't need to go on and on and on, but they do. That's a good point, and, Chuck. Uh, and I and I want to mention that when Joan was doing these minutes, and prior chairman, not me, because these are, these meetings end at ten o'clock, whether we're in the middle of a sentence or not, um, but they used to go until eleven o'clock. So they're a three-hour meeting now. They used to be four, and one time it was even f uh, midnight at and twelve thirty. And Joan was doing those minutes. It, those meetings were ridiculous, okay? And I, so point well made about the time. I realized that Joan does the minutes for other, she does them for the school board as well, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Yes, she so she does them for a number of different people. Um, but whatever the case, anybody else have anything to say? Uh, Sonny, go ahead. Yeah, oh, I've got one comment. If with the municipal budget committee, gets into litigation at any point. The judge relies on the minutes, not the video. The video is not the official record. It's the minutes. That are, That's a good that point. Will determine That's a good point. But I will, Tim made a point also, and that is that at the beginning of this, I specifically said I want minimum minutes, okay? They originally <coughs> were substant, they were just 12 pages of minutes. Um, and way too much, way too much information. Um, if it's taking 20 hours, I would suggest that perhaps bringing it down to more of bare bones of what I asked before. And if I remember correctly, and Fred, perhaps I've, I've talked to you about this. What is the requirement in the minutes? Because it's pretty minimal. Statutory requirements are that you must indicate who's in attendance. You must indicate who comes to meet with the board. You must indicate what the subject is, and you must indicate a vote if it's taken. That's it. Okay. That's all that really needs to be done. Okay. 
the I realize the you know there's nine pages for one of our last meetings I think um, yeah nine nine pages for our meeting on uh, Tuesday December fifth it's too much it, it, you're you're putting in too much work Barbara okay that's my opinion and I would like to ask that you minimize it uh, David go ahead. Uh. <clears throat> I have taken notes, many notes in the past where I worked, and I will tell you, it's very difficult to do when about four or five people, this a talk, because then this one jumps in, and then even the next person writes it right down. So what I would suggest is, if you want a minimum example, I think we need to give our secretary an example of a minimal, so we have a sample for it to follow. But the as you're saying, it is nine pages because she's trying to add that level of detail, but we need to have a sample for her to understand. I think we should be able to come up with one. Maybe the, the town manager, what you just said, was pretty simple. That's but the sample. If that's the sample, that's we the should sample. Have to put it in black and white and have a sample, and we'll, we'll go by that to cut well, back her out. That is the sample, what was just told by the town manager. It's set in okay. statute. Okay, that's the, that's the right. that's it. David. Black letter laws, yeah. it's called, right? right. They get you down like that's hours. the rumor. All right, uh, Tim, you had your hand up. Anything else to add? Yeah. For me, it's not the hour. It was said the for minutes me, are done on what time. It does for the town, for the for here. And it's up to you, you know. The minutes are not done on time. They're not. Five days, five business days, for a draft. Today. At 4.45, <coughs> we received the minutes for December 5th. Today is December 14th. Point and of it's order. not on time. Hold on, Tim. Point of order. Just for the record, okay, you can show this in the record. The minutes were sent to me late yesterday afternoon. Tuesday. And I was in another meeting. Okay. No, I didn't get them Tuesday. I got them, I got them Wednesday. Okay. It's so, Tuesday. And I was at a meeting with the village district. Okay. So that's why I, of course, the town office is closed, um, and that's why I sent them today to Christina to distribute to the group, <coughs> okay? So. Well, I don't care whose fault it is. The fact is the law says five business days, and that didn't happen, okay? <coughs> and even more over than that, because we had a meeting two days later on the 7th. We don't have minutes for that. And just to explain at that, all, Tim. That I see. No, just to explain that. And you're right, we don't. Barbara approached me before this meeting started, and she had a printer problem. So she printed out a document that was um, had it wasn't it wasn't complete. I gave that to Mr. Welch so that he can please give it to Christina, his assistant tomorrow, but you're right. It's, we're cutting this very close. Mr. Okay. Chairman, can you explain to me why you need a printer to send an email? That's a good question. Maybe you could ask the person that... that because it's, the, that was the, the point I'm making is, is that a, a broken printer has got nothing to do with the process. That's a point that if you wanted to ask... So the that. minutes are not on time. And the quality is something I don't want to get into because I can go through the, the most recent December 5th minutes and, and see discombobulations all over the place. Well, you had problems with the previous secretary. No, well, no, no, no. Yeah. Let me well, say it right now that. clearly. That's why I joined. Right, let me say it right now that. clearly. Just because I say that, you know, that this could be corrected, that could be corrected, doesn't mean I don't consider that work quality work. Joan Rice does outstanding work when she was on the budget committee, she does outstanding work for the village district, and she does outstanding work for the school board. Mm -hmm. All right, Let me be totally clear on that. The fact that I had revisions or suggestions has got nothing to do with the reflection of me thinking it was poor quality work, because it wasn't. And I made that clear in the letter to the editor when people were confused about that years ago. So let's not be painting me with a brush that was an incorrect, incorrect brush to begin with. Tim, are you finished? The point is, is that the 12 five minutes, if you read them, you will find comments way off bounds. One topic is being discussed, and another topic is being described. That's not quality. Okay, Tim, are you done? Oh, you're talking about Hold on, don't, Sonny, don't be just talking about 
Are you? I haven't recognized you. Are you finished, if, Tim? I'm only going to go into the particulars of it if, if, if people want to challenge me on that statement, but that's my statement. Thank you, Tim. Um, Sonny. I would suggest we find out from the Municipal Association which, if there's a legal matter that involves a budget committee, whether they rely on the minutes or the video. They don't rely on the video. They re it's the minutes that make the decision for the judge. Fred, you're shaking your head. No, that's not true. Okay, that's the not cases true, we have, they rely upon both. Right. We just finished the case, which is now before the Supreme Court. The Superior Court ruled after reviewing the video. All of the ZBA cases, a video must be provided. So that's not true. They do review the videos because they have the entire meeting on the video. Right. Thank you for that clarification. So now we know what the answer is to that. Are we finished talking about this? I hope so. Uh, seeing no more hands, um, we can vote on this now. All those in favor of increasing that by uh, to 175. Who made that motion? I did. I seconded it. Okay, David made the motion and Ginny seconded it. Um, all those in favor, raise your hands. We have David, Ginny, and Sonny. All those opposed? Um, we have Chuck, Regina, myself, Stephen LeBranch, uh, Mike Plouffe, and Tim Jones. Okay, thank you very much. So, any other?